Look way over there. Ever since they've poisoned, uh, well not poisoned, ever since they released a pest to get rid of Patterson's curse, well, these new, well, prickly pears are starting to spring up all over the place. You didn't see them before. But they're returning because as the Patterson's curse have disappeared, the prickly pear are coming back. They are. Here we go around the prickly pear. That's the sound of cicadas. Let's find another prickly pear. There's another prickly pear, look. Interesting specimen, quite a big specimen. Looks quite like it's going to bloom soon, doesn't it? Good bush tucker anyway, isn't it? Going to bloom soon enough, probably. They're coming back again. I rather like them. Are they ficus indica or something? Are they from India? I'm not sure. This other type of wild cactus is getting quite big now. Look at it. At least it can stand the heat, can't it? Vicious thorns. It is bigger. I'll put my hand near it to show you how it's actually grown quite a bit. actually a much bigger size now. Look at those thorns. Oh, look at them. They'd make good 78 record player needles, wouldn't they? So prickly pears are starting to come up all over the countryside again. I don't mind because I'm a bush tucker person. If I go for a walk in the surrounding countryside like I am now, I can always be sure that there's something for me to eat if I got lost or something. Look at that big pad. That lily and that pad is edible, isn't it? And they're known to have a fruit. They have a sort of reddish purple fruit. And it's delicious, it's beautiful. If you don't mind the thorns. Look at that, isn't it wonderful? So green. How green was my cactus valley? Look at that beautiful jade. Of course you need a pair of tweezers. Don't leave home without your tweezers. Look, there's another one. They're taking over, aren't they? They're taking over. Someone, someone threw some prickly pear over my fence once. Weren't they dread? Aren't, don't neighbours do dreadful things? They didn't want prickly pear in their place, so they threw it over my fence. And when I went to pick it up with, with some gloves, I had to throw the gloves away. It was easier to throw the gloves away than try and pick all the thorns out. Beautiful shade of green, like jade or something, isn't it? You can buy, what are they called? What's that? El Paso? El Paso Salsa, well they make cactus greens too, don't they? That American company, you can buy canned uh, cactus greens in the Mexican food section of the supermarket. 
I can hear someone making a noise in the distance. Look at that. Well, you can eat that pad as a vegetable, can't you? I think the seeds must be dropped by birds. I have seen prickly pear fruit in Karawong droppings, now that I think about it. I don't know how it got through their system with all those thorns on it, but I have seen purple fruits in Karawong bird droppings in my bird bath. That looks like it might become a flower or something, doesn't it, just there? It does. Anyway, that's a little cactus walk through the neighbouring countryside. Listen to the birds singing and the cicadas buzzing. And there's someone hammering. I guess it's a Puntia, what is it? What is it, Indian figure? Puntia indica or... Some I can't remember just at the moment. No, ficus, in, no, ficus indica is rubber, isn't it? It must be a puntia. They're called an Indian fig. I'm getting confused, aren't I? Look at that little, what would you call it? A little sort of trunk or barrel. Australian prickly pear, 